James Corden, a uh, British comedian. I, I, think he's, you know, I think he's a funny, talented dude. Carpool karaoke. Carpool karaoke burns up the Internet every time it's on. It's a brilliant idea. There's another side to James, reportedly, though. Uh, he was recently banned and then unbanned from a restaurant in New York City called Balthazar. The owner of the popular French restaurant recently took to Instagram to explain the ban. Said, quote, James Corden is a hugely gifted comedian, but a tiny cretin of a man, end quote. Uh, he added that Corden was also, quote, the most abusive customer, end quote, to his Balthazar servers since the restaurant opened 25 years ago. Now, Corden reportedly apologized to the owner, and he is no longer banned. So everyone at home, calm down. He's no longer banned and from Balthazar. And he's apologized, it says. And he's apologized. He better. We also apologize uh, to Devo Brown for the technical issues. Back to Yorkdale as we say good morning to Devo. Devo, great to see you. I'm going to lay both hey, issues. Good I'm gonna morning. Lay good morning, man. I'm going to put both stories on the, on the table for you. Tell me what you want to hit on. Raptors season opener tonight, the James Corden thing. Is Corden a story or not on both? Go ahead. Uh, okay, I'm going to start season opener because, you know, I love my Raptors. Of and Home opener, of course. Uh, and don't apologize for technical stuff. I think it was a bit yeah. of a teamwork thing. Yeah, yeah, technical yeah, yeah. difficulty. Uh, so it happens. Um, but I'll say this about the Raptors. They're always underestimated. So yep. I like that they're underestimated this season. You know, the people are saying, oh, they're, they're gonna, it's going to be this for the fans. It's going to be fast-paced basketball up and down, up and down. The shooting, eh not looking so good from three-point land in preseason, but I love this team. I love what they're going to be able to achieve. A team like Boston is ranked second in the Eastern Conference. The Raptors are better than that team. So if that's where they're mm. putting the, the benchmark, we're going to do okay. So uh, about that. Now, it's Corden. <laughs> Keith McNally is the owner, right? Uh, I don't know if you guys know much about Keith no. and his background. He's from London originally Dude, as well. Diva. There's a Balthazar in London. Okay. Yeah. So this guy's got like six, seven restaurants. He's a big restaurateur. He's one of the most feared restaurateurs in hmm. New York hmm. because really? he like speaks Gordon his Ramsey? mind. He is also like a Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. No, because no, but he's not a chef, right? So if you even oh. look at his Instagram, he says I'm the deadbeat restaurateur because New York Times have said some things about him. He he ripped the New York Times, even though they said nice things about him before about their star rating system. Uh, he's also shown support mm. for Woody Allen in the past, Elaine Maxwell in the past, uh, Roman Polanski uh, talking about films and art. So when you look at what he does on Instagram, he speaks his mind. It's not always what we would all agree with. Um, I think this might be a little bit of a publicity stunt because he put up a post last night with his daughter Ooh. and the daughter's best friend saying, I don't know, man, I'm just sitting here in the restaurant thinking about this whole James Corden thing, and I, I feel good about certain things. I feel bad about certain things. I'm just going to get drunk. <laughs> Dad's 71 years old. He's doing what he wants. I think it's a little bit of publicity Dang. stunt. And I've also heard things about Corden oh. not being the best of people to other people. I'm not going to give specifics on that because I haven't confirmed those things, but I've heard things uh, before. So much, tea, so much tea. Hold on. From good sources, D? Because now you're, you see, I was, I, was, I was coming with you on this journey, this, this journey, and I was eating everything you were serving. Because I'm telling you, when I'm looking at the details as to what the bad behavior was, I'm not going to lie. I'm like, that's not that bad. They're saying that James found a hair in his entree, and he demanded a free round of drinks or else he would leave a bad review. To me, I feel like, was he drinking? Was he really, like, was he a little bit... Like, was it, was it really an irate James Corden, or did he legit have a hair in his food? Then the other one was in October. James became frustrated after his wife's order of egg yolk omelet was served with a little bit of egg white mixed with the egg yolk. So I'm like, those were really salacious stories to, like, go on this, you know, smear campaign for James Corden. I will say this. Yeah. I've, I've, Devo, I've sometimes been so hungry, I've looked the other way on the hair issue. <laughs> so, in my food. Have uh, so have disclosure. I. Full disclosure. That's not, not a lot of people are like that. I understand. You're well within your rights. You pay money. You don't want the hair. I understand. I, these things Do you happen. you section it off and leave it there? I just don't tell anyone. I'm just like, it happened. It is what it is. I'm enjoying this breakfast after a night out where I'm, I'm having some home fries and, and ah. eggs benedict. I really enjoy this. But I'm, I'm listen, I, I, but my, my only thing, Devo, and people remind me this all the time, it just takes the one day where someone catches you on a bad day, man. And I'm not saying it happened with James. It sounded like there were multiple bad days. That's right. But it just takes that one. If you're in the public eye, it takes just a couple of instances, and then this may happen. Yeah. And it could be, like, that was the third of 
three things that happen. You there know is. what I mean? Along that Good as point. well. I, there we've is. all been somewhere where, you know, I've been, look, I've been at a restaurant where I've been waiting at the host stand and they looked past me three times and seated other people. And I'm like, what are you, I'm, I'm right here. What are you mm -hmm. doing? Why are you serving those people and not me? And then I'm the last one to get served when I got to the table. And I, I said something about that. And someone might say, oh, Devo was being rude. Well, no, you treated me like trash for mm -hmm. the last 20 minutes. Of course, I'm going to have to stand up for myself at some point. So it could have been, you know, a chain of events. We don't know all the other details because all we know is this guy's side of the story. James has not said anything about this. Yeah, no. there's right? always two sides to every story. Is, he he called the, the, owner. the truth. Yeah. Yeah, did he call the owner? Did he also speak to the staff that he might have been rude to? Mm. Because that's where I would think the apology yeah. needs to go, not to the owner. Val, well, I, I, so. I don't think we've heard the end of this, specifically from James. So we'll, we'll yeah. have it. This is, this, but it's not a James specific thing to me. One last thing on my end. This is, mm -hmm. But this is just what you can and can't do in 2022 when even you go out to dinner. Like, it's, there's a lot here to me, and we'll get into it, but I like the other side of that, Deeb. I wasn't aware this guy was a bit of a clown show himself, yeah. the entrepreneur. Sounds